time here at Candy Adventure in Swansboro. It's known as the sweetest spot in town. It's also the location for today's Coastal Report. Masks are now optional for students at Carter at County Public Schools. The decision came as the county's positivity rate dropped below 5%. The board voted last Friday for the new mandate to start on Monday, November 1st. The superintendent reminds parents that if their child is not feeling well, to keep them home for everyone's safety. Onslow County is seeing its lowest COVID case count since July. Health officials are reporting 482 active cases, bringing the daily average to about 30. Officials say COVID protocols must continue to keep numbers down as the holiday season approaches. As of Tuesday, 62% of Onslow County residents have received at least one dose of their COVID shots. Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller received a plaque from the mayor of Emerald Isle to thank him for his service. Scheller was recently charged for showing contempt towards superior officers. Scheller gave a speech thanking the community for its support and addressing the importance of unity in the U.S. Onslow County is introducing a new tool to help improve waste compaction. The VZ950 Titan Shredder can shred bulk items such as tires, mattresses, and furniture into smaller pieces. Officials say the shredder will help save space and allow them to use the land for longer. They plan to use the landfill until about 2041, but with the new equipment, it could be longer. The shredder can also be used for turning concrete into gravel for roads at Onslow County facilities. That's all for this week's Coastal Report. In Swansboro, I'm Cheyenne Pagan.